Uh, I think you are the founder of uh, Edge TV Philippines, uh, sir, right? So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, pwede bang uh, makilala ang ating uh, panauhin ngayong gabi? Uh, umabi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun. Kasi, okay. yeah. Sige, so, sir. Opo. Okay. Kami sa Edge, no, I joined the, uh, be part of the Edge TV, nagkaroon muna ng Edge Radio. Pero prior to the Edge Radio, meron muna ng Edge Tour. It was a, an events-based na movement kami. Uh, nag-start ito sa mga bars ng Merix. And tsaka dati meron mga rock to metal bar, freedom bar. So, mga early 2000. Tapos, uh, yung friend ko, si Ron Titular of NU107, yung manager doon, he left the station. Tapos, he, tapos nag-start siya ng online radio. Nung kataon naman, Edge Radio ang pangalan. Oh. Uh, tapos, wow. well, hindi pa kami una. Partnership lang muna. Parang collaboration sa mga campus tours. The Edge Radio .net yung, yung broadcast niya. That was mm-hmm. in 2005 na yata o 2004, ganyan. So, kailan nag-umpisa ang ano, uh, Edge TV as a, sa outside muna? Outside oh, well, muna. nung ano, after noon, 2006, sumali na ako sa Edge Radio. Okay. Pinutuloy ko pa rin yung Edge Tour. Ginawa ko na Edge Fest ang pangalan para radio and mm-hmm. events. Then in 2018, uh, nagkaharap ng content partner yung Light TV, mm-hmm. yung Zoe Broadcasting uh, Network. So kami yung gumagawa kasi ng maganyan, live streaming and online. So invite kami mag, ano, mag, maging content partners for their teleradio show in the morning, no? Mm-hmm. So, 9 to 12. So it started, we started in 2019, March 2019, while I was managing our radio station in Quezon Province. Tapos, sinimbalangan ko na rin yun. Tapos, every week ako umuwi. So, kailangan mm-hmm. si daily, yung Mondays to, fr- to Fridays. So, so okay. meron na bang mga social medias that time? Or meron saan na ilang? And then... Uh, Kaya lang yung branding namin. Nung una nga, Edge Radio, tsaka Edge Strong South. Kasi mm-hmm. yung, comp- yung aming local company, Strong South. Strong okay. South Broadcasting. Doon sa side ng ano ha ng Quezon, Laguna, kasi ano kayo, south na. South. south na. And then, uh, kaya yung ginawa na, namin, Taka, sa takil ko roon, talagang south na yung feeling ko eh. And so then, naba- nabanggit nyo, uh, may mga, ta- oh, wow, yes, wow. Sir. Then, maraming events na nilikha ang Edge oh, TV. Oh, oh, no, in, par- in partnership with, ano, Malakay Skateboarding. Oh, wow. We, mga, more on skate rock, tapos naging B, skate BMX Like rock, Trasher. Tapos Matrasher. ang skate BMX, rock, and hip-hop. Parang all mm. of the... Parang festival na talaga siya. Oh, then oh. eventually, nagkaroon ng skateboarding, nagkaroon ng roller, ibang roller sports, nagkaroon ng uh, iba-ibang extreme sports, climbing, tapos so, may music din. Music. Oh. So maraming bumubuo nito or uh, maliban sa, sabi nyo kayong founder, may mga ibang... Doon sa side ng this. HTV, konti lang kami. No? Yung the, the network kasi ng radio franchise yan. So, meron kami mm-hmm. ibang registrations in the provinces. Oh, okay. Wala lang Manila kasi wala namang license na available na in Manila. Kaya, nung, kaya nga nung, inumpisa, nung in-invite kami to be a partner of Zoe, sabi ko, wow, national at nasa Manila yung ano, yung studio and yung, mm-hmm. yung broadcast is nationwide. No? Mm-hmm. So, sige, sabi ko, let's join this. Kahit na medyo madugo yung yung transportation and yung, siyempre, I had to uh, go to Manila every Mondays, every Monday to Friday. Then uwi ako mm-hmm. ng Quezon, Friday afternoon. Lukas na naman ako ng Monday, madaling araw. Pero saan kayo naka-base? Like, uh, that, time, province, huh? that time, sa Lucena kami nakatira. Wow. wow Tapos then... in 2020, lumipat na ako ng Manila. Kami, my family, I moved my family to Manila. Kasi nga, sabi ko, ito na yung, mas magiging, ito na yung magiging flagship. 